I'm Brett Larkin and today I'm hanging out with Yoga with Cassandra. She also has a yoga YouTube channel so you should definitely check her out and we're going to talk about how to put on a flash tattoo. So we'll talk a little bit about flash tattoos and why we like them after the tutorial but let's dive right in I think so people can yeah, see. let's just do it. So the number one, number one thing when you're applying a flash tattoo and we have these ones from Fashionista Tattoos. They're really cute. Yeah, so they're nice. Really pretty. Yeah. So the first thing is you want to make sure your skin is dry and clean. So obviously I took a shower this morning, but if you were taking a shower beforehand, maybe you'd exfoliate your skin a little mm -hmm. bit, you know, just get the dead skin Make off. it last longer. Yeah, because the tattoo will last longer if you put it on clean, dry, exfoliated skin. Step number two is that you cut out the design that you want. We'll do this pretty silver feather. Cool. So definitely be careful here because you don't want to ruin any of the other designs. Having a friend help you do this is really helpful, especially if you want to put it on your back like I want to do. Yeah. Place the tattoo face down on the skin. All right, so there's a tiny little film on top of it, so you just have to remove it. Just peel it off. Right here is good. And then you thoroughly wet the tattoo with a damp cloth or sponge. So we have a little bowl of water and a sponge, and she will, hopefully the water's not cold. Sorry. Oh no, it feels good. So you really want to thoroughly get it wet. And she's pressing really gently. Yeah, I need more water. So take your time with it. And then when she's done, what she'll do is she'll gently peel back a corner of the tattoo to see if it's transferred. So before pulling it off, like yanking it off, she'll make sure that it's staying by just peeling off a tiny corner to check. And if it's not transferred yet, she will just press down again and get it wet again. Oh, it's working. Yeah, you'll know that you've used enough water because the tattoo, like the paper, will become translucent and you'll see the tattoo underneath it. So I can already see the leaf coming out of it or the feather coming out. And I took a tiny little piece off and I can already see it. So I'm super slowly just going to peel it off. Oh, it looks so good. And then you want to let it dry for five minutes. So I don't want to run, put my shirt on now or do anything crazy or, you know, go for a jog at the gym for five minutes. We want to rest. How does it look? Super pretty. Perfect. So this should now last a couple days, assuming you don't rub it off in the shower. So you just want to pat dry in the shower. Don't do any, you know, really vigorous motion. And if for some reason it doesn't turn out, you don't like the tattoo and you decide you want to get rid of it right away, some baby oil or alcohol will take it off pretty yeah. much instantly. And now, as promised, let's talk a little bit about these. I mean, <laughs> these have become really popular in yoga, also for festivals yeah. like Wanderlust or Burning Man, people like wearing these. So what's, what's your take on them? Why do you like wearing them? I love them. I, I'm a jewelry person. I like to have a lot of rings, some necklaces, and all that kind of stuff. But when I'm practicing yoga, I don't know. I come from the dance world, and you're not really supposed to have any accessories while you practice. So I have like the habit of taking everything off. I feel like I can move more. Um, but I don't like to, so this way it's kind of like merging both Yeah, worlds. it's a nice way to wear jewelry without having to actually physically yeah. have jewelry on. So if you're doing a lot of yoga, a lot of movement, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And then on a more sort of esoteric level, I think it just helps you get in touch with your divine, divine feminine nature. There's something very feminine about them. Yeah, it's um, delicate. Yeah, especially when you do the armbands and things like that. So, I don't know, if you're just... At a festival or just wanting to feel a little more beautiful, I always think it's really nice as women to embrace sort of that beauty. It's aspect. creative. It's yeah. It's creative. It's a form of self-expression. So you can definitely check these out. It's also a little, like we said, nostalgia back to the childhood yeah. when you did the did the tattoos as a little kid. I did them all the time. Those press on tattoos. I love yeah. them. So. so once again, these are from Fashionista Tattoos and they're a great deal, but you can get these all over. And uh, Cassandra, thanks for putting my flower on. You're welcome. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. Let me know if this little tutorial was helpful. Definitely subscribe to my channel, Brett Larkin Yoga, here on YouTube. And check out Cassandra's channel as well, Yoga with Cassandra. And again, we would love to hear from you in the comments below. Lots of love and have fun. Happy flash tattooing. Yeah. <laughs> have a great day. Bye. Bye.